Hello YouTube, dputer 67 here and today I want to talk about my EDC, things I carry every day uh, when I'm on the job or off the job, whatever. Uh, just these are the items that I always have with me. Um, I'm going to start out with my iPhone 5, I always have that on me. Uh, one of the things I've done on mine, which anybody can do, is, uh, yeah those are some of my handguns. Um, uh, compass, everybody should have a compass on there. But in my book section I've also downloaded some uh, material. This is the LDS preparedness manual. This manual is phenomenal. It's packed with a ton of information. It's free to download. Uh, it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal reference. I also have a SEER, um, Survival, Evasion, Resistance and Escape manual. It's a student handbook that I downloaded. Uh, the FM2176 Army Surv Survival Manual, that's a must for every library, and also uh, Life After Doomsday, some good, just some good reading there. Uh, in addition to all that, um, like I said, I've got the compass, I've got a UV5R reference on here, that's for one of my radios, my handheld ham radios, and, and obviously... Um, the the maps. I've got Google Maps and also the maps that come standard with Apple. There's a bunch of other things on here, Fox News, whatnot, and uh, I always keep this charged. If I was to go on a hike or whatever, I'd have it. So that's the iPhone 5. That's one. Uh, I always have it with me. Got to do my business and my my personal on that. I always have my keys on me. Uh, this yellow pouch right here happens to be a disposable CPR mask. Uh, I also have, this is a Cub Scout uh, ferrule rod, scrape some of that off and uh, you can start it. Uh, so I have, I do have that with me at all times. I generally carry one of two, if not both of these knives. This is the Gerber Instant Fast. It's a spring assist. Love this knife. This is absolutely my favorite knife. It's a... Um, 7CR17 MO, which is a 440 stainless equivalent. It's a Chinese steel. Uh, I don't ever have a problem with this. It stays plenty sharp for me. Uh, I love this knife. Absolutely love it. Always have it with me, pretty much. And then in my on my belt, I'll generally carry this SOG. It's Magnadot. Uh, it's not it's not the uh, self-assist, but it is pretty uh, pretty nice. It feels hefty in the hand. Uh, I'd have no problem taking this out to the woods and, and using it out there. In addition, in uh, this is basically just an ID holder packet, but uh, I have some first aid supplies that I keep in here. Some bare aspirin, there's some Tylenol down here, some band-aids, antiseptic towels, first aid cream. There's also some Neosporin in here, and uh, I don't know if you can see it, there's also a safety pin in there. I just keep that in my pocket at all times. You just never know when you might need a band-aid. And uh, that's that's what it is. Now, if I was to go hiking or on a trip, if I knew I was going somewhere, I would include items such as a water bottle. Uh, this is a stainless steel water bottle. And there's no plastic actually in the neck. And that's one thing you need to look out for if, you're, if you have a, a water bottle that you're going to take with you. I recommend you bring a metal bottle with you um, so that you can cook and sterilize water. So again, if I was to be, if I was to go on a hike or know I was going to be putting myself out where I might become in, you know, in a dangerous situation, uh, I would have that with me. Uh, another item I would probably take with me is a GPS. Now this is an older unit. It's a uh, Garmin Gecko, but it will give me coordinates. I know where I'm at. It also has a compass on it. I would likely bring my Pux Triple Eight. Um, this is a VHF radio, uh, and I can talk to people. I've got a extended rubber duck on it, but I would probably also bring my J pole. I've got a, a J pole that I got from eBay. Uh, if I'm hiking, I'm generally got my my work boots. I wear these for work and for hiking. Um, good pair of boots. And then finally, uh, I would probably bring around bring my Altoids uh, kit, and I'll go over that with you here real briefly. Uh, cover it with a rubber band. 
you know you got about a thousand uses for the rubber band also uh, and then I also tape it to keep it somewhat uh, waterproof but I can also use this tape uh, for for whatever purpose I might need to tape and inside this Altoids can I have uh, a couple of band-aids some more Neosporin uh, I've got 30 feet of fishing line I've got some thread and a needle uh, if I need to put a button back on or Lord forbid I need to um, if, let's say I get a real bad cut I can stitch myself up out in the field uh, enough to get back I've got a little birthday candle in here I know it's not much but it's uh, better than nothing got a little mini mag light um, I'll have light a lighter you know, nothing beats having some fire out in the woods uh, I've got some little some plastic grubs in here um, to go with my fishing P38 can opener you never know what you might need that for a couple pieces of uh, fire starter and I can uh, actually cut these down and use them more than once uh, to get a good fire going so I could cut that you know in half or even in thirds uh, you poof these out and that's how you would start start your fire if, especially if you only had sparks uh, in here I also have fishing hooks I've got a couple of jig heads some fishing hooks uh, some there's a, you can't see it there's a line on one of them a couple of sinkers get some grubs or worms or whatever uh, there's a mylar blanket in here I needed to uh, to bivouac out in the in the field and I also took this is a dollar ninety seven uh, knife that I got at Walmart Ozark Trail I believe took the handle off I saw this in another review and I I apologize I don't know who I who I copied this from but uh, credits to him I saw it in a YouTube review that they had done that uh, took the little thumb screw off too but that makes for a real good little handle uh, I can make a defensive weapon out of that I can use it to cut um, tie it, you know, lash it to a uh, lash it to a branch or whatever, and make a spear, whatever I need to do. Um, I can also use it to to uh, strike fire. So uh, that's my little kit. Uh, oh, I also have a razor blade up in here. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of taped up into the lid of the Altoids can. So that's my uh, my minimalistic. Uh, go in the woods type can and uh, like I said I would carry that in my pocket. I always wear cargo shorts when I go camping uh, Unless it's too cold. I'll wear cargo pants Appreciate your uh, time and patience for watching this uh, again If I knew I was going if I knew there was more risk of me being lost. I'd probably take my level two uh, This is just my level one setup my everyday carry some things I would carry if I was going a little bit more uh, I'll do a video on my level 2 setup and then also on my level 3 setup. So, appreciate you watching. Uh, enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, leave comments and I'll get back to you if I can. Thanks. Bye.